My name is David Double D. Devereaux. I'm a spokesperson for the Washington State Confederation of Clubs and also the Council of Clubs, an organization connecting confederations and coalitions of motorcycle clubs from coast to coast. I want to discuss the recently linked Don Carlos video that shows the second camera from the Don Carlos parking lot, immediately adjacent to the Twin Peaks parking lot, from the beginning of the shooting to the aftermath. One of the things that sticks out about this leaked video, more than any other factor in the video, that I continually go back to is the man in the blue shirt. You'll notice at the beginning of the video there's a man standing in the lower right hand portion of the frame on the porch of Don Carlos, apparently looking and staring at the Twin Peaks parking lot when motorcycle clubs had gathered for the Texas Confederation of Clubs and Independence meeting on May 17th. This individual does not look like he's a patron of Don Carlos. Doesn't look like he's waiting for anybody, waiting for a table. He looks to be completely fixated on what's happening in the Twin Peaks parking lot. He occasionally looks to his left, he occasionally looks to his right, but the majority of his focus is completely on the parking lot at Twin Peaks. One of the things that happens with the man in the blue shirt that's continually bothered me since it's been pointed out is what he does moments before the shooting occurs in the adjacent parking lot. The man in the blue shirt, moments before the shooting occurs, looks to the right down the length of the Don Carlos parking lot. And he looks to the left down the length of the Don Carlos parking lot. And he appears to see something, directs his attention back to Twin Peaks, and does something that I don't think I'll ever forget. He clearly reaches up and taps his head three times, signaling someone or some person in the Twin Peaks parking lot. Moments after this occurs, a second maybe, after the third head tap occurs and he puts his hand down, the shooting begins, the man ducks, and runs into the Don Carlos restaurant. Who this man is is obviously important. Who this man is will tell you who he was signaling in the Twin Peaks parking lot. There's important questions. Is it just coincidence that a moment after this signal the shooting begins? Is that merely coincidence? And if not, who is this man? When we know who he is, we'll know he was signaling. And it seems that we may have insight onto the beginning of this tragedy. At least that's a reasonable question that you would think that authorities and law enforcement in Waco would be eager to answer.